money plant money photos known as a feng shui plant and also a good luck plant welcome back to tamara's garden today i will be covering up about money photos plant and i'll be showing you all the varieties that i have with me at the moment and also care tips so stay tuned until the end to know everything about beautiful money photos plant very long money plant if you can see the length of this money plant stem see now this is one of my plants which was growing in the pot i cut this money plant stem from one of my planters and now i have it ready to propagate so now here if you can see it it's so long more than four feet long so today i thought of sharing how to grow money potos plant I have all the money potos plants varieties here marble queen potos then there is enjoy potos then I have the neon potos and also I have the golden potos so I have all the four plants with me here and there are some more varieties of potos plants as well but at the moment I have these plants this is tea fertilizer which I usually use on my house plants. Use it on my ornamental plants, especially the green plants. So they get a lot of nitrogen by using tea fertilizer or coffee fertilizer. So time to time giving these type of organic fertilizers are really very important for the plants to grow. You can add it directly to the soil. Whenever you drink tea or coffee, you can add the powder form, dry it out in the sun and add it. So by adding tea or coffee fertilizer, they are high in nitrogen. You can give your plants a real boost to grow because they are all in good organic fertilizers. These are organic fertilizers and also provide the nutrients that plants need. So always use organic fertilizers. That is what I suggest so as a gardener. And also these plants are really very beautifully and healthily grow once you provide these type of fertilizers money plants are considered as good luck plants when you keep money plants in your home they bring good vibes to your home prosperity abundance and also wealth so that is according to feng shui these are good luck plants and feng shui plants so i have many of them you can multiply them very easily within a short period of time you can multiply them now see look at this stem you can cut these from the node area and make free plants very easily easily propagate them in water either in soil and you can give them or else you can keep them in your garden because these are very easy way to propagate and make free plants money plants are beginner gardeners plants and also one of the decorative plants you can keep them in the partial to medium sunlight if you are keeping them in the garden outdoors or else if you can keep them indoors near a windowsill you will see how beautifully these plants will grow now look at this color of the foliage of this beautiful marble queen pothos now this plant will grow really very beautifully if you keep it near a windowsill because these plants are low maintenance and also if you keep them near a shady corner even in a dark corner these plants will grow because there will be no problem these plants are permanent and hardy plants and also these plants are really very hard to kill plants unless you overwater these plants because if you keep them indoors you don't need to regular water you can skip regular water you can check the soil and water them according to the depending on the country weather and also these plants if you go to overwater that will lead to root rot but if you keep them indoors you can skip regular watering check the soil and water them and also these plants are very full and elegant looking if you keep them near a windowsill for them to receive some sunlight so that is also you'll have to consider so now look at this plant now this is growing in a ceramic plant this is a diy plant and also these are plastic planters these fit into any size of planter you can make any diy pot or else clay pots and plastic pots are ideal medium to small planters will be perfect for these money pothos plants this is a golden pothos stem so now I'm going to show you how I'm going to propagate it from cutting it from the node area. So for you to propagate it in water, you have to find the node areas and put them separately in water. These are the node areas and these are the leaves. Here we have cut them into separate separate plants. 
so now this small leaf you can put in water and propagate so one by one we can put it in water or together plant is a plant you can propagate with a single leaf but the node area should be there so now you can simply insert in water take a clean water jar and separately you can put them in water so this is a very easy method where you can propagate and make free plants so likewise the whole stem you can put in water so this is the node area in this and you can simply put them in water and after some time you can directly transfer them to soil. Money plant need well draining soil. You can take garden soil one third, cocoa peat and some sand in the mixture of the potting mix. And also these plants keep in mind not to keep them in the bright sunlight area and not to over water by doing that only you are losing your plant or else sometimes damaging the leaves of the plant. Otherwise this plant is a low maintenance permanent plant and very easy to grow plant. Even without fertilizer they will grow really very beautifully. Provide them the shade and also check the soil and water these two keep in mind and also at the right time you'll have to do the pruning and you can have many free plants and also to avoid mistakes when growing money for this plant which I have mentioned in the video these are beautiful decorative plants for your home anyone can grow these as a beginner also you can grow these plants and also one more thing this is a feng shui plant and a good luck plant so today i have covered up about the money pothos plant this is the guide about caring for money pothos plant there are many varieties but all are the same conditions you can apply so you can apply the methods to grow money pothos plants all the varieties need the same conditions of caring so so I have given them all I think and also if you have any questions about growing this plant you can comment below and also friends if you are new consider subscribe and do not forget to give it a big like and share it with your family and friends. Thanks for watching and see you soon with another gardening video.